phrase goes, money can't buy happiness. It's a common phrase and I want to present the idea that it actually can. The first big factor about money is that it can relieve worry. Like for me, I worry about student debt, eating enough food to stay alive, then being social on top of all of that. So money can relieve us from worry, for which we then can enjoy the things we do more. Whether that be studying, crocheting, playing football, etc. The second thing I want to talk about is all about how you spend your money. Now before I can tell you how to spend your money right, let's look at how we actually spend our money. The example crops up from time to time is about winning the lottery. CNN wrote an article about this where the results were they spent all their money and went into horrible debt. They then wrecked all their friendships because everyone was asking them for money. So winning the lottery equals more debt and bad friendships. The best part about this is that the people commenting in the article ignored everything the article actually said and just wrote what they would buy if they won the lottery. As you read, you start getting an idea for what people want to buy and it's all materialistic, where it's been shown that you enjoy experiences more than material goods. Keep this in mind as we move to an experiment done in the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. First, they measured the happiness of participants. No idea how you would even do that. But then they gave everyone a random amount of money from $5 to $50 and a bit of paper. The paper had an instruction on it. It said either buy something nice for yourself or buy something nice for someone else. So the people that bought something nice for themselves mainly bought coffee or makeup and they didn't really get any happier. However, the other half who bought scarves, teddies and more coffee but for other people actually got happier. So I know how much Vancouver's population represents the world, and so does the university. So much so that they did this experiment again in Uganda, with remarkably similar results but in a completely different way. There were some similarities, like two guys, one from Vancouver and one from Uganda, used the money to pay for a date with a girl, which may have led to things or it may not have. You can see a massive cultural difference and one Ugandan woman spent the money on medical bills for her friend's son. But the fact stays true, it doesn't really matter what you spend it on, as long as it's not for you. I think the new saying is, if you think money can't buy happiness, you're not spending it right. So if I had £20 to buy someone something, I think I would buy my mum some flowers and wine. Who would you buy something for, and what would you buy? Let me know in the comments below. See ya!